Welcome to today's tech tip video. We're going to go through how to install a phantom wallet and get that ready for your Solana or any purchases that you want to make on that blockchain. I do believe the phantom wallet is the best. It is climbing up the app store and is being used prevalently. I've used it a lot for Solana and anything that I do over there. So I love that wallet. Let's check it out. So I do have Google open. So I'm going to show you exactly how I would go find this wallet. Let's type in phantom <laughs> wallet. Easy peasy. It's going to take us to the right website. So we're not clicking any links or anything like that. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. This is our trusted companion. I use Chrome. I love Chrome. So I'm going to download this bad boy for Chrome and I'm going to walk you through each step. We're going to add this extension. We're going to go ahead and add it. Boom, boom. We'll give that just a few seconds. That's going to load up here. It's going to download right here. You can see that and it's going to add itself right away. Now we have to create a new wallet. I'm not going to import an existing wallet. You can do that by entering your seed phrase. If you do have a phantom wallet already that you've lost or anything like that. So, but we are going to create a new wallet. So this is the steps that I would take. So I'm going to go ahead and create a password here. Agree, continue. Here we go. And this is the phrase that you don't want to show anybody. So I'm going to go ahead and blur that out. Uh, I'm going to write this down on a piece of paper. All right now that I got my phrase written down, I'm going to continue. Uh, it says get started. So what we're going to do is before we do that, we're going to click uh, the little puzzle piece and we're going to pin that because I like it pinned. But let's go ahead and get started. So puzzle piece, pin, then we're going to open up the wallet. It should be already logged into this thing. We're going to say, you know, we can send, receive, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to show you that in just a second as well. So I understand that. And so let me uh, go ahead. Um, let's see if I can drag this. I can't drag this. Okay. So this is a all encompassing wallet. We can hold Solana, Ethereum and Bitcoin and even Matic in this wallet, which is actually really cool. They just added some of this functionality. Even today, you can have uh, PayPal's USD, USDC in there. So Pusty, uh, whatever. Anyway, so you can have that in the wallet, which is really cool. Um, I am going to go ahead and add some Solana to the wallet because I want to show you a couple features here in just a second. But, uh, and I don't think I can do that without um, adding some Solana to the wallet. But if you wanted to uh, check out your recent activity, you can make some customization changes. It's not as customizable as MetaMask in some instances, but it is more so in other instances. Like for example, obviously it has all these chains that you can do on here. So, which is really cool. But keep in mind, there is a different address for each chain. Uh, Polygon and Ethereum are the same, but different address for each chain here. So remember what you're sending to. It also doesn't do as good with like Bitcoin ordinal. So I'm just going to show you in another video how to do the X first wallet for that. So, but Solana, this is easy. This is what we're going to do with Solana. So let me go ahead in real time. I'm going to copy the Solana address and then I'm going to do this off screen, but I'm going to paste, I'm going to send some Solana from another wallet that I have here. Hold on a second, select Solana. And I know you're not seeing anything, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and paste that address. Boom. Uh, let's just do 20 Solana. Um, continue. I actually want to see this in real time as soon as I hit send. Okay. Send. So I hit send here. Let's see how fast that comes over to this wallet. Once I get that in there, um, it looks like it's not there yet. Oh, there it is. Okay. So that's pretty quick wallet to wallet transfer. Solana is pretty quick. So <laughs> yeah, it is pretty cool. So within this wallet, you can do a couple different things, but the main reason I like this wallet is because of its way that you can connect with uh, dApps. So you can also even um, convert, if you had like USDC in Solana, you could convert it to USDC on Ethereum. We're not gonna do that. Um, or can I just convert Solana to USDC? Mm, it looks like I can. How much is 20 Solana worth right now? Let's see. Solana is 170.34 at the time of printing. So if I do the math on that, 170.34 times 20, uh, 34.06. So you'd lose about $100 in this swap. So I wouldn't recommend doing it. Um, yeah, and it's using Jupiter and all bridge. So it has to use a bridge to go over it. And I'm going to do a little bit video, uh, my next video after we do the Jupiter connection on how to kind of check some different bridges and things like that. So 
That's how you create a phantom wallet, the simplest way. And we added some Solana to it. We could add Bitcoin just the same way, but it's a really cool wallet because you can hold all these different things in there in that wallet and use it and connect to dApps. So we're going to use that in the next video. If you want more tech tip videos just like this one, go ahead and go to nickblacknicks.com. Put in your name and email and get signed up for our mailing list. And we'll send this stuff out to you. We'll see you in the next one.